Hi there, this is going to be a video on classroom management for young children, so around three, four, maybe five years old, or even younger, two years old, one year. The other day, I was given a class of uh, really young children that were babies, and they were screaming, and uh, it, it was horrible. First thing I need to do, get them into class, they can keep their backpacks on if they like. Just remember that young children, very young children, they feel scared. They really, and they don't know you, this is some random English girl. <laughs> bringing them into some classroom they don't know. So let them keep their backpacks and their jackets and their teddies, whatever they have, sit down on the floor. Don't bother with chairs right now, sit down on the floor. Um, I think it's the best thing. What I, what I do with my four year olds is every class I have them go and, I have them go and sit down on the floor and uh, then I send them to the bathroom. It's very important that they go to the bathroom um, and they can use the words uh, toilet please with a little bit more advanced, can I use the toilet please, can I go to the toilet please, can I drink some water, so teach them that vocabulary and, and, and over a few weeks they'll get it. So just right, just imagine, you've got your kids in the class, <laughs> in the classroom, they're sitting down on the floor around you, they're screaming, and you go, oh, oh, roly, roly, boly, up, up, uh, and you see that they copy you. They like to they like to use your fingers, they like to look at what you're doing. Roly roly poly down 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 Roly roly poly clap 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 and use your clapping as a way to get the attention of the ones that aren't really listening, not paying attention right now or they're too busy screaming. Clap 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 roly roly poly hands behind your back and at this stage you've got some kids that have got their hands behind their back and you're like yeah and you've got some others who are like uh. but that's okay because they're kind of quieting out and you go Shh. and the ones that are making a load of noise the ones that are still talking you go up to them and you say Shh. and you start again but with no words And if this is working, you can go straight into your next song. I just want to tell you that, that I got that from um, a teacher I worked with when I was in auxiliary. Her name was Marta, and she got that from the Montessori school that she was working with. So it's a fantastic Montessori song that really works well to get the kids just settled right down. So you've got to move straight into your next song. Depending on the age of the songs, of the kids, songs now, <laughs> depending on the age of the kids, I'm just maybe thinking about three, four year olds right now at the beginning of the school year, so they're going to be quite little. You want to use your hands a lot. Okay, so we're going to make a pincer grip. This is really good for pincer grip practicing. And you get your thumb like this. And we're gonna get wine the bobbin up, wine the bobbin up, pull, 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 point to the ceiling, point to the floor, point to the window and point to the door. This is a really good one to do twice. Wine the bobbin up, wine the bobbin up, pull, pull, pull. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor, point to the window and point to the door. So you're introducing vocabulary, really good vocabulary for them. You're getting their attention and uh, they're starting to calm down a lot. So the, the plan is that you really need to have a few songs like this um, really prepared and ready. Another fantastic one is my modified version, I sing this from the Super Simple Songs uh, website and they, uh, YouTube and they, they have a happy, happy, happy song. It's the happy if you know it, clap your hands. But it's a simplified version. And what I've done is I've changed the order of it and you'll see um, that it works really well. Okay, so if you're happy, 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 clap your hands. If you're happy, 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 clap your hands. If you're happy, 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 clap your hands, clap your hands. If you're happy, 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 clap your hands. 
If you're angry, 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 stamp your feet. Now normally kids actually like stamping their feet. So use the stamp your feet second because uh, it, it gets them motivated and, and engaged. If you're angry, 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 stamp your feet. If you're angry, 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 stamp your feet, stamp your feet. If you're angry, 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 stamp your feet. So this one, um, if they want to stand up and stand their feet, don't panic, it's okay, they can do that. If they want to sit down and just stand them like that, they're sitting on their chair, whatever, um, it's fine. And then you've got loads of them, and if you're crying, say boo-hoo, whatever. The next one is really, really, um, really, really good. If you're tired, 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 go to sleep. If you're tired, 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 ooh, go to sleep. And you'll see that when you do this over a couple of times, the kids will like lie on the floor and they'll be asleep. And you can really pull this out for a long time, really get them calmed right down. If you're tired, 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 go to sleep, go to sleep. If you're tired, 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 go to sleep. And then they love this one. I like to do it in this order so you get them calm. And then you get them coming back to the action. They know this is coming, so they're still thinking. If you're scared, 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 say, oh no, oh no! And they'll start screaming, oh no. If you're scared, 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 say, oh no, oh no! If you're scared, 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 say, oh no, say, oh no. If you're scared, 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 say, oh no, oh no. And then, to make sure you've really, like, got the nail in the coffin, if you're being very good, sit down properly. If you're being very good, sit down properly. Cross your legs and fold your arms and sit down properly. And then here, you can, like, say, oh, very good, Anna, very good, Jorge, very good, whatever. And then they'll see that you're saying their name and they're like, oh, I'm gonna sit down properly too. If you're being very good, sit down properly. Okay, so there's just a few little songs um, that really, at the beginning of a class, can just help you out, seriously. Um, good luck.